take my mental health seriously for a really long time. Um, I think I just, like it's just became so much a part of me and I thought that my anxiety was a healthy amount uh, to be able to function and um, I let it kind of control a lot of my decisions and a lot of my life and um, it wasn't until last year when I took a step back and spent some more time outside and uh, thinking more about what I wanted in my life and that um, that kind of helped me move towards a switch of just like not just dealing with my mental health but actively working on my mental wellness and that shift has been personally really big for me. that change it was easier to make decisions that made sense for me to be able to move forward and um, spending out spending time outside played a huge role in that process for me So we're here in uh, Fish Creek Park. Uh, it's kind of a place like that I didn't know about for a long time, which kind of seems like a bit like a crime, right? <laughs> like um, it wasn't until we kind of moved to the Oak Ridge like area that we came here, and it's like you know about Fish Creek Park, but it's not until like you're in it that you realize like how diverse like the place is right like there's just like wetlands forests biking paths like rivers like there's just like little bodies of water like all over the place so it's just like such a cool place and um, makes you forget that you're in a city and for me personally it like has made me forget like of all the different things that you have like going on in your life it's like a little mini escape and um, every time you step in here, you can tell that the other people that are here are enjoying it as much as you are. Like, everyone's so friendly on the trails and stuff. So it's just a really cool place to be. Um, there's a lot of wildlife. Like, as I'm talking right now, I can hear a woodpecker in the distance. <laughs> and, like, um, it's just, like, a good place to, like, come collect your thoughts. daily practice for sure is to get outside in any fashion and like you know I'm not I'm not a health specialist but like I do know that getting outside just you know 15 20 30 minutes a day does have huge health benefits for people especially if you're doing something intentional and uh, actual physical activity so like getting out and walking and using it also as a chance to like integrate your social life too so like go walking with family and friends and doing picnics and like just getting out and and doing something intentional is just such a huge huge thing like i know that when i am getting outside my life changes and i know when i stop that practice when i'm not getting outside every single day it definitely like my mental health does take a dip and I've really seen that contrast in the last year I didn't realize during the pandemic how much I missed it I took it for granted and now I'm like I can't picture my life without 
getting out in nature and I've been busy the last few months and as soon as that practice goes away from my daily life, I can actually feel it. And that's a, that's a huge thing when you realize something that works for you and you still take it for granted a little bit. And so it does take a long time to make it part of your daily life, especially if it's not part of your daily life already. But that's been a game changer for me. But like, also not overthinking it. Like getting, just getting outside is a big thing. Like even if you're out for a walk and you just do a lap of a pond for 15 minutes, like my mood is just like, change like immediately like it's yeah it's uh something that i definitely overlooked for a really long time What are you most grateful for in life? You. Stop it. <laughs> You're so cute. You're supposed to say like, trees, wind, nature. <laughs> well, that's not true. Fish Creek Park. <laughs> <laughs> I, You're so cute. Honestly, I think the last year discovering this with you has was like the best summer of my life like, yeah you know being like us together and coming here to read and coming here to like grow and even just like watching you experience things like seeing a little woodpecker or seeing you know deer and just like it's a constant reminder for me to just like take a step back and like look around and like enjoy where I am and let like my problems just kind of like slowly melt away from me and like like it sounds like so silly but like the more time I've spent here it's just like I want to like live a life surrounded by this because it's like if something makes you so happy right like if being around trees and being around nature can literally change my mood so much like even today I was super anxious this morning like lots of running around like feeling so out of place and busy and overwhelmed and now I'm here and I'm just like oh, the wind is on my face and like I can like almost take a step back and like watch and observe the trees like dancing in the wind and it's just like Oh, like it it's really like a, puts things in perspective. It's like a weighted blanket. Like it yeah. just makes you feel so comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> like you like, just you come here and you see how truly small everything else is. Yeah. And that nothing is really that serious. Yeah. You know, nothing like feel... nothing weighs so much that you can't carry it. Yeah. I just feel like I'm at home yeah. and I feel comfortable to like be myself and it's like it's like a safe space for me really like and it's funny because I thought being at home was like a safe space and it is but like there's just like something about being here. the big things is like you know you can go outside of Calgary and be in a totally different landscape in you know 45 minutes and um, keep going but like this place it's it really is the accessibility of it yeah. because it's like I can't just go to Banff or Kananaskis every day but I it, I it is realistic that I could come here every day and that makes a difference like you know in the summer um, I was coming here and every day right and so like it's nice to visit the other places but you don't always have that opportunity yeah like finding spaces 
close to you and that's accessible to where you live it's just insane like I can be here in the parking lot at Fish Creek Park in five minutes right like that that's just like it's hard to put into words just how valuable and important that is to to me but also to so many other people as well I'm really bad at setting boundaries for myself and I think especially in the pandemic I've allowed a lot of things to like bleed together and so like my work life balance was not good for me and like for my mental health and it wasn't working for me. The diversity here is like in all facets of life like there is a diversity in landscape in just even in plants. Like you can be surrounded by pine trees and then walk down and all of a sudden you're in a forest that's like um, just like a whole other type of tree, right? Like it's almost like in sections in some aspects and then there's like wetlands, but also diversity in animals. Like the amount of birds I've seen here, I've never seen that many different types of birds in one space. Um, but I also think it's a diversity of people as well. Like you do see all walks of life um, when you're walking through the trails. And it's actually another piece that I maybe not have thought of before, but like it is like, it is just like people here to enjoy themselves. And like people doing different hobbies, and you have like bird watchers, you have people of all ages, you have kids, you have um, people of different like cultural backgrounds, having like picnics and like, it's just such a cool thing to have like in the city. The big thing of this place is the access of how, you know, there's just parking lots all throughout the city and that people can come here from wherever they live and you don't have to pay to be here. You can go for a walk, you can have, you know, a fire, a barbecue, a picnic gathering. Like, I like that it's so accessible and that like, we're in a city right now and there's not a person around, there's no roads, like I can't hear any of like the cityness. I can just, like it's just, we're surrounded by trees, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are not like fortunate to be able to do that, right? Like um, as much as we are close to like the Rocky Mountains and places like Kananaskis and like the foothills and stuff, I think there are like a lot of barriers to that. Um, because one, you need to have a car and you need to be able to travel and, and it costs a lot of money. Like you need to have a parks pass, you need to have like all these things to think about. So to have like spaces like Fish Creek in the city is like kind of a game changer, I feel like for a lot of people, for people who don't have the opportunities to get out in nature. And like a lot of the recommendations are that you should be outside at least 30 minutes a day. And a place like this gives you that opportunity. And it's not the only place in Calgary that you can go to like there is like nose hill and there is like weasel head and like but it's like so cool because when you go to those spaces you enter into them and you really forget that you're in a city like every single one mm -hmm. and so it's just really cool to um have access to these places because it is about exposure and um you know whether it's like someone's first time in fish creek or they come here every day it has something to offer, like, every single person, I feel like. Mm -hmm. In Calgary, it feels like anywhere that you go, you're not that far from a tree, right? Like, even if you're downtown, you can find a space that, you know, is a green space that has trees where you're surrounded by, you know, um, grass and people and plants and that's something that I feel really proud about when you're like going around Calgary and I feel like for the people who live here it's just like it's nothing but a benefit to have um, nature right outside your door you know like it's it's something that maybe we even take for granted a little bit but when you think about other cities I have not been to a city where I feel like it has the same opportunities to be outside in these ways. Um, 
and so it's just kind of like an incredible thing for like the people who live here to have like the opportunity to just get out and go and explore and then for summer like here for Fish Creek like there's a lot of people who are really passionate about this park in particular and so um, you can do tours you can do like different things and it's just like the opportunities are just like endless I feel like for people who live in Calgary.